Hello everyone, welcome back again to Mufasuke channel. Today we are going to design a sculpture by Norwegian artist Marnil or Nordel. In this tutorial you can learn how to sketching by tracking image, parametric designs to easily change gap between slot, size, radius, and deep, convert into 3D models, basic rendering and finally manufacture simulate ok open your fusion 360 software first uh, we can create new component and then i will change name in here into tab of folder Click OK. We can active uh, component origins and I will call sketch. We can click this plan. You can use a rectangle command to create a rectangle in here. I will set for uh, dimension into 380. For length, we can set into 630. We can press enter to plan. The next, I will insert reference image into rectangle objects. You can click the insert and then you can click on press. You can insert from a computer and you can search for the reference image. Okay, I will use uh, this uh, reference image. You can click open. For face, you can select this uh, rectangle object. You can customize this set to make your own sign by uploading a different image to press or by using scan tools and draw another set if you like. In this tutorial, we use uh, this uh, simple reference image. For the next, uh, I will change scale into 1,4 and for angle in here, we can set into 180 degree. For year distance, I will set into minus 15. And then for uh, x distance, we can set into 15. You can click OK. So it will be fit in the center of a visual objects. I will use plan tools and then we can draw to this cat by pressing this uh, reference image so we can start from this point pressing then you can click here it will be easy for you to tracing this reference image by using spread tools you can fit one by one in here After we tracing this uh, reference image with uh, spline tools, we also can change for uh, this plan by clicking at this point okay, to move or you can use uh, another parameters like these parameters to decrease or increase this plan objects here okay, like in here. If you done, you can click uh, finish cap to apply. Now uh, we will add a user parameters that define the depth and thickness of the slot that the tab sit inside plus uh, the gap between the slots and the radius of the cube that finish the slot. These uh, parameters you can also change to fit your own design. You can click modify and then you can click uh, change parameters. In here I will uh, add new user parameters. First uh, we can set name into start. I will set expression into 15. We create again for radius. We can set into 100. For gap, I will set into 6. The next uh, for deep, we can set into 20. Thickness 1, we can set into 22. For uh, thickness 2, we can set into 29. And the last. For uh, thickness 3, we can set into 39. You can click OK and OK again to close these parameters here box. Now we will make a new sketch with lines for this slot. You can click here, quote sketch, and you can click this rectangle objects. Now we can uh, use a line command. You can grab line, start from this point, and then you can move uh, to the bottom. Ok, we create again line, start from this point, and move to the top here. You can click OK. 
Now we can give a distance between this line start and then this gap between two lines. You can click here, step dimension, I will click this object and click in here. You can set in here into star, you can tap S, you can use a star with my method, press enter. In here, we can uh, create gap between these uh, two line objects. And if I press gap or uh, each parameter, press enter again. I will copy these uh, two lines objects by using a rectangular pattern. You can click red and then you click uh, rectangular pattern. For object, we can select these two lines. And I will click this arrow and move to the right here. For, Distance type you can use the spacing and for quantity I will set into 18. Distance in here we can set into 35. You can click OK. We can select this rectangular pattern constraint. Okay, you can click in here and press delete button to delete. Now we can uh, use parallel constraint and then we can select this all lines objects. You can use uh, scale dimension and you can give dimension in uh, this uh, all lines object. You can start from uh, this uh, two line object. Okay, and we put again in here. So we put uh, this all dimension one by one. Okay, to change this uh, all uh, dimension parameters, you can click uh, modify and then you can click change parameters. You can click in here, drop down menu in the folder and also in schedule. So you can see this all for expression and parameter for this uh, all dimension. To change, you can start from here, you can set into thickness 1 and in here we can set into thickness 3. The next uh, thickness 2. Okay, we put here thickness 1 and thickness 1 again. We set in here thickness 3 and thickness 2 in here. Okay, we set again thickness 3 and thickness 1. Thickness 3 and thickness 1. In here we can set into thickness 3 and thickness 2 okay now we can set into thickness 1 and then thickness 3 the next uh, thickness 2 and thickness 2 and the last in here thickness 1 and you can set thickness 3 you can click ok to apply now you can see this uh, all dimension will be changed in the next step, we will add horizontal lines to decide where the slot begins and ends. I will make a pattern where every second line starts inside the set and every second line starts outside the set. Okay, you can click this uh, line command and for the start, we can click inside, you can click in here, and then in here. For the second, we can click outside, you can click here, and in here. So we can create inset and the next we can create uh, outside. Okay, after we create uh, this uh, all uh, horizontal line, we can click finish sketch. Now we can convert this uh, to the sketch into 3D models. You can click here for sketch and then I will uh, inactive for uh, sketch 2. You can hide. You can use uh, extrusion tools and for uh, profile you can select this uh, to face. For extrusion we can set into thickness, thickness 3. Press enter to apply. The next uh, I will active uh, sketch 2. And then we can use extrusion tools again. We can select this uh, all pattern. Okay, you can select this all pattern one by one. And now we can use uh, extrusion tools with uh, this time in here. We can set into minus deep. You can use here give a user parameters. 
and also you can change operation into cut you can click ok to cut this uh, box object with uh, this all profiles that you can click ok cut now i will use uh, fillet tools you can fillet this uh, all edge you can select this edge okay you can select one by one this uh, all edge after it you can fillet with uh, reduce user parameters Now uh, we can set for radius into radius parameters. Okay, you can see we already fillet this in uh, this uh, all selected edge. You can click enter again to apply. Finally, we can extrude with uh, this uh, tracking uh, sketch. You can active sketch one, and now I will use extrusion tools. You can select up this face. I will click this arrows and move to the bottom here. Don't forget to change operation in here into intersect and you can click OK to apply so it will be cut in outside of this uh, set of things. You can uh, hide the disket and then hide again the canvas. So we are required this uh, simple 3D models. To render these uh, objects, you can click here designs and change into render tools. Okay, we can click a branch to give a material or texture into these 3D models for example in here I will use uh, wood materials and we can use uh, this uh, material so you can flip, hold and drop drag into this object so to be applied the materials how to render these objects you can click here render in canvas and it will be automatically rendered into excellent point or panels or infinity For the next step, we will go into Manufacture Workpass where we will create the setups and toolpaths for CNC to mill out the object. Okay, you can click render in here and then we can change again into Manufacture. For the first, uh, we can create setup and then for machine, we can use a default. Operation tab, you can use some mealings. Orientation in here, we can set into uh, select Z axis and we can turn Z axis into vertical. You can select this uh, green axis, so Z axis will be go into vertical. In a box point, we can click from this point. The next for uh, start in here, I will use mod into relative just marks and then for a start set offset, we can set into 20 mm. For start up offset, we can set into zero. You can click OK to apply. So we already set up. For the next step, we can use 3D millings. You can get the 3D, and then I will choose a packet clearing. We can select for tools. You can click here, and then I will get millings, and we can click a plug and mill. For the first, we can use a six millimeter for tools. You can click here, six millimeter. And now for uh, geometry, machine boundary, I will set into selection and then we can select this uh, bottom edge. Next, for uh, height, is OK. For passes, I will uh, uncheck for stop fully. And for uh, linking, is OK. And you can click OK to apply. Now, this uh, pocket tool will be regularly for, this, uh, for the result. And see, and you can uh, right click in here. You can click simulate to view the simulation. You can active start in here, or you can inactive. You can play for the simulation. So this uh, for the simulation. You can uh, increase the speed in here. If you done, you can click close, and then we can go into the next step. We can use again 3D links and then I will use a parallel. For tools, you can use the same tools, 6 mm. And then for geometry, in here we can set into selection and select in the bottom edge. Okay, for height is okay. And for faces, I will active for machine step areas. And then for pass direction, we can set into 90 degree 
first step over we can set into one millimeter we can click ok to apply so it will be regular again for a parallel one is a four parallels and you can click in uh, right click in setup and then you can click uh, simulate okay i will click this icon to go to the next uh, operation you can click play to view the simulation so that is for the simulation you can see you also can change in here for uh, polarization like you can change into operation or you can change into materials this is for materials and in here for operation you can change in here you also can use a transparency this is for transparency okay you can close and for the last step we can use uh, 2d millings you can click here 2d and then we can use uh, 2d control for tools we can uh, select the other tools okay you can click milling in here and then click a plug and mill we can use for 10 millimeters okay, you can click in here and millimeters in geometry we can select this uh, button edge and we can active for tabs the next for hex is ok for faces we can active for uh, multiple lips multiple lips and you can click ok to apply if you again for uh, the simulation you can wrap it in setup and then click simulate we can click this icon to go to the next uh, operation okay this is for the third uh, operation now we can play to view this operation so you can see we are cutting in the side and uh, increase the speed now you can close to view all simulation you can see here Okay, enough today for a Fusion 360 modeling tutorial how to design a sculpture by Norwegian artist Magnil or Nordal. If you have any question about this tutorial, you can comment down this video. And see you again in the next video tutorial.